What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. So a lot is going on right now in the entertainment world uh, with Diddy. You know, you got the situation with, you know, Candace Owens just happened. And now this, this whole thing with Lizzo. Now, as we know, Lizzo has caused uh, a lot of controversy for herself, especially when it came to those women that were background dancing for her and things like that. Uh, we were hearing things like this. So Lizzo released a statement and she writes in part, these sensationalized stories are coming from former employees who have already publicly admitted that they were told their behavior on tour was inappropriate and unprofessional. Me personally, I was never told that I was unprofessional. In fact, I was told the opposite. They would kind of pull me to the side or if I'm already having a conversation with the tour manager and so on, they would say, actually, Noel, you're, I just want to let you know you're never a problem. And I'm thinking, so are you alleging that everyone else is super unprofessional and why? All these black women are unprofessional? We're all constantly being gaslit and uh, she's constantly deflecting. So it just further, you know, proves our point and solidifies the claims that, that we're making. For everyone who's skeptical, just take a moment and put yourself in our shoes. Recognize that when you're in a stressful situation, you don't always know that you're being abused. All right, so those allegations that were coming out about Lizzo. But even before, Lizzo is a very... How can I say this without being controversial? A very sexual person, especially what many people will say at her body size, all right? It's not traditional for a woman to be that, you know, that sexual, uh, you know, a lot of twerking, a lot of over-sexualizing herself on social media, which is what Lizzo does. But it's come with a level of backlash. And this is something that, you know, even me, me on YouTube, anybody, when you put your stuff out there for the public, especially you're famous, you draw attention to yourself, you have some level of success, people, not everybody's gonna like that. And I try to tell you brothers all the time and some of you sisters out there, people are not gonna like it. When you draw attention to yourself and you're on folks' radar, people don't like it. So they're gonna say things that are not gonna be uh, very nice. In the case of Lizzo, what are those things that we hear? Things about her weight, things about her size. Now Lizzo also talks about her size too. You know, it's BBW acceptance and, you know, love yourself and, you know, trying to be basically um, a champion for, uh, for, for people against body shaming. And then she just kind of breaks down crying like, like this, you know, who I am and the essence of me and the things that I choose to do as a grown ass woman can inspire you to do the same. You don't have to be like me. You need to be like you and never, ever let somebody stop you or shame you from being yourself. Like this is who I've always been. Now everyone's looking at it and your criticism can just remain your criticism. Your criticism has no effect on me. Negative criticism has no stake in my life, no control over my life, over my emotions. I'm the happiest I've ever been. I'm surrounded by love. Shout out to my managers, Kevin and Alana, and Full Stop for hooking that up, because that was so fun. Me and Shelby had so much fun. We got all dressed up. We were sitting right next to LeBron James. I told him he was the greatest athlete. I was like, you're the greatest. He was like, keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> it was so cool to be next to all that man sweat and basketball juice. And then um, I was just chilling, mind our business, eating cheese fries, drinking a margarita. And then um, one of the girls from the Lakers dancers came up to me and was like, Lizzo, um, the Lakers girls, they want to perform to your song and we just wanted to know if like that's okay we just wanted to do this special for you and I was like me and they were like yeah we're gonna do it on the next break and I was like okay like your girls came out and they started dancing the juice and I just got so excited 
And I wanted to show them how much I appreciate and support and love the fact that they wanted to do that for me. So I stood up and I danced and I turned around and I shook my Tonku Kwankwa. So I just want you to know, like, that was, you know, at the same time, a lot of the brothers would say, OK, well, it's mean for people to talk about you, you know, because of your size. But also you're putting yourself out there to get criticism. OK, she's posted on Instagram that she is going to leave the music industry. She says this. I'm getting tired of putting up with being dragged by everyone in my life and on the Internet. All I wanted, all I want is to make music and make people happy and help the world be a little better than how I found it. But I'm starting to feel like the world doesn't want me in it. I'm constantly up against lies being told about me for clout and views, being the butt of the joke every single time because of how I look, my character being picked apart by people who don't know me and disrespecting my name. I didn't sign up for this ish. I quit. You guys hear what she says? I don't know if this is something that's serious or if this is a sign for help, um, which it could be. At any rate, I feel that Lizzo will be back. She, she probably is not going to quit music and all of that. But here's what we got to understand. If you know that you are a person that is sensitive, because there are ladies who are historically big in music. There's uh, Jill Scott. There's Angie Stone. Uh, there is Kelly Price. Kelly Price was huge, right? But all of these ladies that I mentioned, they were not sexualizing themselves, except for Jill Scott with the mic. You would see stuff like that. But as far as when you think about Jill Scott, you don't think about, oh, well, Jill Scott is a BBW. Jill Scott is a very talented artist that just happens to be a BBW. When you think of Lizzo, some of us may think of her as, oh, she's a very talented artist or flute player or whatever. But then you start thinking about a whole bunch of sexual stuff when it comes to Lizzo. And you start thinking about her in, you know, bathing suits and, you know, maybe some people will say in shape or out of shape or whatever. And you're talking about, you're mentioning here, people are lying about you for views and clout. But when you turn on the phone and you twerk and you take pictures of yourself in certain bodysuits, which you probably know that you're going to get some unfavorable comments. Well, what do you call that? You're also looking for clout and views. That's how you have 12.2 million followers. You want to be clouded up. Remember when Lizzo was twerking on PDD stream one day and he was like trying to stop it. But when Drea Michelle was doing it, he was cool with it. And then, you know, you want to be upset about it, but you bring that attention to yourself. So people are going to respond. Now that you feel that people are not favorable towards you, you're upset, but let me get off the body size thing because I don't think that's the real big issue. The, the real big issue is the damage that has come to Lizzo's career from the people that have sued her. I think this is the biggest thing uh, amongst her that she has issue with. And this largely came from other ladies who were BBW, women that she was supposed to be supporting. I don't know if these allegations are true, but here's also what I believe Lizzo has found out. Nobody likes you. And I'm not talking about that as personally for her. That's everybody. When you are successful, right? You have things popping off. You have things going on. Nobody likes you for you. And we gotta understand that's what it is. That's what it is. It's how it is. Fundamentally, it's gonna continue to be like that. And that's something that we need to be able to deal with, okay? Many of us are not able to deal with that. We have a fundamental problem with that. But Lizzo is finding out like, oh, those people you thought that you were inspiring you are not really inspiring like that no you were not they don't like you and now you're, you're you're experiencing maybe some of the things that that men are talking about and it's sad i know but that's how it is when you got money and lizzo probably didn't sign up for that she's probably right you sign up to be an artist but it's a lot of stuff that comes with being 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 rich being a celebrity people are broke people want to use you hey i started to be on youtube and you know tell them my opinion that was it until you come to find out that folks trying to dox you, <laughs> you find out that people trying to do everything else. Hey, you sign up for something else and don't know it. And it is unfortunate, but that is how the game goes. That's exactly how it works, you know? And it, it, it is sad, you know, that people do whatever they want to do, but it's, it's, it is what it is. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, Shady Jackson, back at it again with another episode of Celebrity Junk. Put your fire, use Curry Bell, we're out.